So human rights lawyers representing survivors of the Marshalltown fire which gutted the Usindiso building have welcomed a decision to recuse one commissioner. Advocate Tulani Makubela was recused from the Commission of Inquiry investigating the fire that claimed 77 lives. The Commission's chairperson, Justice Sisi Kampepe, found Makubela would be unable to be impartial due to his association and support for anti-migrants organization, as they put it, put South Africa first, as well as political party operations. The Commission of Inquiry tasked with investigating the cause of the Marshalltown fire has recused one of its commissioners. It follows complaints from survivors accusing advocate Tulani Makubela of being biased. This comes after Makubela reposted anti-foreigners social media posts on his ex-account formerly known as Twitter. These posts belong to anti-foreigner group turned political party Operation Dudula and Put South Africa First. Having regard to the AFO going, I am satisfied that a case has been made out for the recusal of Commissioner Makubela. In the premises, I rule that Commissioner Makubela is recused as the Commissioner of the Commission. The attorney of the surviving residents argued Makubela was not fit to investigate the matter, accusing him of allegedly being biased towards foreigners and his alleged association and support for Operation Dudula. The lawyers are relieved Makubela will no longer be part of the proceedings. And a person who supports Operation Dudula or Put South Africa First might not be impartial when dealing with issues relating to them or when dealing with issues of how the fire was caused or in, in fact on, on the, the, the compensation that might be one of the recommendations given to them. So it is the perception of bias. The Commission is expected to investigate who is responsible for the fire and the prevalence of hijacked buildings in the Johannesburg CBD when it resumes. Balint Mtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg. Meanwhile, Operation Dudula says that they will be delivering a letter of demand this afternoon to Justice Sisi Kampepe, uh, the chairperson of the Commission of Inquiry investigating the August fire at the Usindiso building in Marshalltown in Johannesburg. This follows the Commission of Inquiry recusing one of the commissioners, as you just heard, Advocate Tulani Makubela. Makubela was recused due to his uh, tweet on social media platform X that uh, the commission deemed xenophobic. The organization argues that Advocate Makubela was not fit to be investigating the matter due to him allegedly being biased uh, towards uh, foreign nationals and his uh, reported association and alleged support for Operation Dudula. We now speak uh, to Isaac Lisole, who is Operation Dudula's Deputy Secretary General. Isaac, good morning. Thank you so much for making time for us. You're also demanding um, that the Justice, the Chairperson of the Commission, also recuse herself uh, from the Commission. Why are you making that demand? Well, uh, uh, thank you for having me, Adrian. Um, look, it's very simple. The 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 fact that the the, the commissioner uh, affirms allegations that are made against a political party that is that is confirmed by the Independent Electoral Commission on the basis of an individual or a citizen who's viewing his or her political views is absurd. I mean, we. We, we, we now know that the commission is not is not is not impartial. We know we know that um, uh, um, Judge Makubela has said Judge uh, Hampepe holds uh, views uh, political views and and her judgment is based on 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 her, her her political views. So so for that reason, we believe that um, she's she's doing exactly what she's accusing uh, Advocate Makubela with. So so she must be recused, and this we would we would uh, confirm uh, when we deliver the letter of demand and when we take the matter to court uh, because we intend to interdict the commission with immediate effect. Full views. I, I would have missed that. Uh, would you want to repeat that quickly? Uh, I'm, I'm asking what are the political views that you believe that uh, Justice Sisi Kampempe holds? So, so, Operation Dudula was established in 2021. Um, the, the, the statements and the views that uh, Advocate Makubela uh, has expressed 
dates back to 2017. And these are views that are anti-illegal migration, both inbound and outbound. So any person who has a problem with a South African who expresses a view on undocumented or illegal um, um, migrants in the country, that we view as a as a political issue and needs to be and needs to be attended uh, uh, yeah. in, in, in in that in that in that same format. Yeah, but Operation Tutula's um, approach to dealing or dealing with the issue in relation to immigration in the country is not only limited uh, to undocumented um, immigrants, but also extends to um, immigrants who actually do have the necessary documentation. And sometimes Operation Tutula has gone about this indiscriminately. So, would you agree to that? No, no, no. We have not. We have not been understood. We we have said that given the fact that uh, uh, there is so much corruption that has been proven at the Department of, of Home Affairs, we have reason to believe that a majority of the people who hold documents that are purported to be, to be legal documents, those documents were obtained fraudulently. And on the basis of that, we are saying that every person who, 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 who holds a document or a travel document uh, who who's naturalized, based on what we said, we're saying that let everyone everyone be vetted, be verified, and then continue from there. Because uh, as you would know, I mean, the Department of Home Affairs have cancelled almost 500,000 um, IDs. This means that there are people who are in the population register of the country who are not supposed to be there because majority of them would have obtained these documents illegally. So, so the population register of the country is compromised. It lacks credibility, and we we gotta have to do something about that right away. Okay. So the next step is just delivering that letter, and then of course you're trying to interdict uh, the commission from going ahead. Yeah, we. That's the intention. So the intention is to deliver um, the letter of demand. But also to, um, um, we, we want to demand a few things. We want to demand that um, um, you can't have a commission talk so much about Operation Dula and its position, and we are not an, given an opportunity to, you know, to come and present our case. In fact, we are a, we are a, we are a, we are a suspect in this case, yeah. but we are not called to the stand. So we're going to ask that we are put on the stand. Number two, the judge must uh, um, recuse herself, and the failure to do so, uh, but thirdly, for the judge to give us all the particulars of the of this case so that we can prepare ourselves as a witness um failure to do so we would interdict the commission in its entirety thank you so much for your time that is operation Tutula's deputy secretary general isaac lisole we have also reached out to advocate makubela and he has agreed to speak to the agenda so he will be joining us on the show tomorrow i'd like to hear his views on the decision that has been taken by justice kampepe and also um, the uh, finding that she has made that due to his association and support for uh, the likes of Operation Tutula, which she says um, is a group founded on xenophobic rhetoric, that um, he would be unable to bring an impartial mind to the inquiry. So that conversation will be with the advocate Makubela tomorrow. So do stay tuned to the SABC News Channel.